Hello, this, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to Bowser's Gate 3. It has been a couple weeks since I was able to record. My schedule's been pretty, pretty rough. Uh, in the comments of prior videos, a couple things were actually uh, pointed out to me that I might want to go out and check about, because uh, there's some things that I miss. Uh, one especially is like an underdark area. So what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to see if I can't go back there. See if I can go back. I can apparently go back here. Uh, no, instead of that. So I can go back to the prior section. What I need to do is go to the Goblin Camp. And if it lets me go back there, I'll go back there. But uh, there's an entrance to the Underdark that I had never actually looked at. I don't know if it's going to be useful to me. But I'm looking for any kind of experience I can get before I proceed in. Because quite frankly, um, that last encounter showed me that I might be a little bit underleveled for the area. I'm perfectly happy with going up against things that are much higher level than me uh, in most instances because I'm just built that way. But it might be useful to not repeatedly die on things. You know what I'm saying? So supposedly... Supposedly, I can go back into where I met Minthara and such. And just go further back in. And there's some sort of entrance to an underdog. Oh great, he's got the hunger. My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. Yeah, let's give him an artifact. What can we give him? Let's see what we can give him. We can give him... Um, do I have like some sort of... Now these are all equipped items. There we go. I have no no intention of getting a barbarian in there. Thank you. Alright. I need to get, the, get Gale out of my damn party as soon as possible. Now, I could just take, like, a hireling instead, I guess. Good gods. It hardly has any effect. Oh, Mr. Have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. You're gonna tell me what happens now? Go on. You're, listen, you're among friends. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. That's better be good. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. Really now? I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Okay. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The lady of mysteries. The goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me, and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse. And later, even my lover. I mean, that's not saying a lot. From what I understand, she's pretty easy. Um, Bold. If you, uh, it seems you and I have had quite different experiences concerning Mistra. It's fair to say her intimacy is not easily won. Nevertheless, I did. We enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Yeah, well, that's a good, a good idea. Us in check. Not to. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, 
I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. I hope you're still talking about magic, you yeah. uh, That's tantamount to heresy, as a wizard can come. Perhaps. But enticements beyond the perimeters of mortality are powerful motivators. I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. Swore my ambition was only to serve her better. <coughs> She only smiled and told me to be contented. Maybe you should have, like, you know, followed what she said. Seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess, and yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? I don't know if I want to have your story, but go ahead. Yeah. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. Okay. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. <coughs> and he almost managed, but not quite. His entire empire, Netheril, came crashing oh, you're, around Oh, you, you, you messed with the Netherese. Great. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. I will say this: even the, the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. The lore behind the Netherese, and like and changes all over time. To the mortal realms, until the day Mistra returned, she restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book. A Netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. Okay, so you what tried if, to bring it to her? I thought. What if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself? Maybe to she the wanted goddess. to keep it lost. I must admit, that sounds like a tempting proposition. I don't discredit my reasoning. Alas, that my execution was rather less sound. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. So help me if you drain my magic, I'm gonna take this axe and take your head. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws. It's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. God, so she probably it let it go because it was stupid to keep it in. Alright, how are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. Okay. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. Just kind of explode outward, right? Uh, go on. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. You thrice-damned rotten bastard! You've been the greatest threat to our lives all this time! No, 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 Lazel, he can be a weapon. We can keep I'm him on ice. To admit I am now. And if somebody... Perhaps it would be best if I angers us. Leave. We can throw him at him. As much distance between us as I can before the orb erupts. 
Um, unbelievable. Did you ever think what would happen if the tadpole got the better of you? Just every waking just moment. just to make things worse. Every dreaming moment too. But there was no way out. All of this. It must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. You know, I have no intention of keeping you in my main party for the duration. However, I do need a wizard right now. I would hear what the others say first. You'd even consider letting him stay. We must be rid of this menace. I'm in two minds. And frankly, I don't care a great deal. Either decision is fine by me. All right. Um, if we were to part ways, where would you go? Once I'd step out of the protective aura of the artifact, it wouldn't be long before the Absolute overtakes me. I'd never let that happen, so I'd aim for a swift end. I would consume some midnight tears and venture as deep into the Underdark as I possibly could. Till they cloud my eyes. Well, we're going to the Underdark, luck, supposedly. I'd manage to make it to a Mind Flare <coughs> colony, so that when the orb erupts, <coughs> one loud... <laughs> last song of vengeance would reverberate through the dark wouldn't be a heroic end but coarsely poetic enough in its justice I mean <laughs> uh, God alright well here's the thing if I let him go I'm short a person but I can't let him explode my people and quite frankly, sending a living bomb into a mind flare colony sounds pretty awesome. Um, yeah, this is too grave a threat. I can't let you. I can't let you screw my people over, man. I understand. I harbor you no ill will. In fact, I enjoyed your company even throughout this harrowing journey of ours. My tale is at an end, but yours is not. Beat that damn parasite in your head. Win the day and celebrate the nights. Farewell. Hey, I got a hag that can probably try and remove that. Oh, did he take his crap? I think he took his crap. No, he gave me the backpack. Um, where is it? Latest. Open. Doesn't have the gear I gave him. Didn't give me the gear. Ran off with the items. Oh well. You know what? I'm gonna let him have that. He can have it. Maybe he can get far away enough away with it. But now I'm short a person. If I run into anything, I'm gonna. Who do I have back in camp? I don't have anybody. Go to camp. Alright. Alright, Lazel. Shadow Heart. I don't think I've got another person. I mean, where's Withers? Where's Withers? Where is Withers? Where are you, Withers? I need a temporary replacement for my peoples. Is he in like an adjacent room somewhere? There you are, Withers. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? I do require a new ally. Thank oh, you very much. Perhaps a resurrection instead. I'd like to talk about very hirelings. Well. I will recruit a hireling. Choose. So who do I have to recruit? Or do you get to make your own? Ah, you get to oh, you get to pick from these, okay. Barbarian, Bard, 
cleric of Selud. Uh, a druid a ranger. Paladin. Monk. Fighter. Rogue. Sorcerer. Warlock. And a wizard. You know what? What's this warlock got? It's got hideous laughter, doesn't it? Whispers. These are crowd control spells. Eldritch Blast and Blade Ward. You know. I'm torn. Maybe just another fighter? She's what, a heavy heavy weapons fighter? <laughs> Thinking maybe this warlock. Venture forth. And we will uh We will boost her stat her her her, her level, I guess. Alright, class features got Eldritch Invocations. Let's go to spells. What kind of level 1 spells I want? Arms of Hadar is nice. Hex is also nice. Thinking Arms of Hadar though. And as far as the invocations go, we'll take, uh... Thinking Agonizing Blast. Uh, Fiendish Vigor is always decent. And then Agonizing... Agonizing Blast. Okay. And we got another level up. Got a Pact Boon, a spell. What other spells? We got level 2 spells. I'm thinking... Cloud of Daggers. Looks decent. Shatter is just so good, though. Pack Boon. Pack of the Blade is always interesting, but... I think Pack of the Chain. I'm thinking we'll go with... Uh... With the Imp. Got another level. Get a cantrip and a spell. Alright, we've got Eldritch Blast. So what we need is... Minor Illusion. Oh no, we, we need Mage Hand, really. Again, another level 2 spell. We're going to go with... I want to say... Uh... Maybe hold person. Yeah, I'm thinking hold person. What kind of feet do you want? What kind of feet do I have?
Maybe Cleric. Magic Initiate Cleric would give us some backup healing. Uh, otherwise, Spell Sniper, maybe? Oh man, I am kind of torn. I'm thinking, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe Cleric. We can give you, uh, Produce Flame and Sacred Flame. And then for your level one spell, you can take, uh, Healing Word. And that gives us another backup healer. I mean, I'm not keeping her long term, but uh All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Well, we'll give you some gear. What gear do I need? She's got the ability to wear like she can use hand axe, light hammer, and war hammer, and she can wear basically like I think that she's only got, like, uh, armor, light armor. So what do you got for light armor? Um, we could go with... That's just barred on. Yeah, we're just gonna. We're just gonna sort of wait. Do we have any spare light armor? Or hammers or anything? I don't think we do. We'll just have to pick up armor on the way through. So let's just uh, let's just get back out of here. Interesting times. Breathe deep. I'm not going to long rest. I'm just going to... Can I leave camp? Yeah, I can just leave the camp. Alright, well... It's not giving her a portrait. Let's, let's continue what I was doing. I'm going to quick save the game after that. My little hireling is going to follow me. Until such time as I get another another. What the hell are you clicking back? I'm no. I'm literally not clicking there. Did I go over there? No. The hell machine. Okay. This place looks like it's empty now. We never did explore this area. We never explored down here, did we? Well, there's what's left of a. Stack of gear. Is there anything? I don't think anybody's around. I'm just gonna steal the scroll of Revival. And I'm gonna take that leather armor. And I'm gonna go give it to uh, to my newbie. What else did I just pick up? Did I just? Here we go. What to do? You get to oh, we get to wear this. It's a little bit. It's about the same. It's exactly the same. Need to find a way forward. Don't, looks like this place has been abandoned. That's fine with me so far. Can't get there. Oh, there's like a pit there. Everything's empty in here. Except that potion of healing I'm gonna grab. Wait, why am I still breathing? Despite everything. Another step forward. 
just need to come up here and explore this area. Maybe loot like basic basic things in my background. See, I don't see anything in here, so I'm just grabbing crap. Got nothing in there I need. Take that basic poison. Don't need anything in there. No, I know I don't want to shut the door. I want to go in. There we go. Dearest Elminster, what the hell? No, what what is this? I must be brief as I am under some duress, having become the esteemed guest of rambunctious host of goblins. I would, of course, rather be under duress than under a feathered duvet or a danger. Okay. This is just Volo's letter. Okay. I would have read it more in depth, but I'm kind of, kind of running low on time here, and I want to find the entrance to this supposed underdark area that I was supposed to explore. If I come through here and there's like nobody back here, as a result of me coming to it a little bit late. It's okay, because I've got a new hireling, and I've got, um, here's the warg pens, which I don't believe I've been in before. Warrior Plig, he's dead. I will take the prison key. There's a wooden chest. With, oh nice. Some healing potions. So this place has been destroyed. Someone escaped. One of the adventurers? Yeah, I never, I never went here before. Whoever did it left quite some claw marks. Maybe the missing druid. Yeah, that sounds about right. He must have returned to the grove. Well, if you return to the grove, then I don't need to worry about him. Except maybe later. Well, I'm a little bit further ahead than I was. Alright, uh, you know what? Head up here. Quick save my game. I will take that silver tray. Thank you very much. I think that's about it over here. Go back over here and try and try and figure out where the hell we're going here. There is uh, just gotta be in Where am I looking at in here? I think this was, like, the way back past an area. I guess we'll go over this way, then. This is, like, the main area, right? At least give me a sword. We want you dead, you dumb knuckle. Not, not dead and heroic. So there's somebody down there. I don't want to close the... What part of... I, I'm not... I'm, oh my god, I want to click in here. Oh, there's a dead mind player? Wait, what? Get these doors out of my way. There's a dead mind player. Hey, let's use that... That, uh... This. Um, do the speak with dead? On the mind flare. So what's going on, my dude? The corpse rises, your parasite squirms in recognition. Ah, 
My tadpole. It's just like on the ship. There's no doubt. This creature is responsible for your parasite. Oh, really? This is the guy that gave us that crap. Okay. Tell me who the absolute is. Ratchet images fill your mind. Curved drow blades, crude goblin torches, null teeth dripping blood. You see other mind flayers arranged in a serene circle. Absolute unity. Absolute power. Oh, okay. Why did you abduct me? Dark, empty pods flicker across your vision. They demand new flesh. Oh, because I was there. How do I get rid of this parasite? You see the tadpole in the mind flayer's hand. Not a parasite. Perfection. Rebirth his sloughing flesh. A new skull housing cold, sharp intellect. Uh, are there more of your kind nearby? You see dark tunnels lit by noxious pools of brine. Oh, great. The darkness spreads through the earth. The whole the colony. The splits open and nautiloids pour out of a void that consumes the An stars. invasion force? Okay. What does the absolute want from the goblins? You see draw Ragslin writhe. A tadpole clings to the mind flayer's fingers. Oh, they controlled him. The goblin king bows, obedient. The flesh of his tribe becomes the flesh of the absolute. The mind flayer's corpse twitches, then collapses again. It will speak no more. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Well, we'll get that. Uh, this ain't going back on. And on that note, I'm going to grab this scroll. Why oh, not? Fuck it. The scroll can stay there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start looking to wrap it up here. Although it looks like there's passages further back. Well, there's like a treasure crate over here. Okay. Um, I'm going to save the game. Let's try to lockpick it. Add a bonus of guidance and DC 20. It's not great. Nope. I've got plenty of thieves. Here. Roll again. Using a thieves tools. Oh my god. Yeah, not so much. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, well, I think what we can do is we can wrap it up here and leave some more exploration for next time. Because I think there's still a few places down here that I can't necessarily get to. For now, it's been the RPG Crawler with Baldur's Gate 3. If you like what you see, remember to leave a like, comment, comment, feedback, and subscribe for more RPG content. Until next time, take care and goodbye.